Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to find the moment of inertia about the centroidal x-axis. Now, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up so that we create more content like this. And don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified each time we post new videos. Now, let's get started. Okay guys, so this is what we are giving and we want to find the moment of inertia about the central x-axis. Now, we have already solved for the moment of inertia about the x-axis. So what I want you guys to do here is you're going to solve this problem and then at the end, once you solve it and you verify your answer, then you're going to go back to the moment of inertia about the x-axis problem and you're going to compare the two, okay? It's very important, guys, that you differentiate between the centroidal x-axis and then x-axis and then make sure that you add those differences in your cheat sheet so that way you remember it for your FE exam or if you are taking a statics course, okay? Now, the way we're going to solve this problem is this. So the first thing you guys need to do is use the parallel axis theorem. Now, when you are gonna use the parallel axis theorem, you have to first find the centroid. Now, we've already found the centroid about the x and the y axis for this problem. If you haven't checked that video yet, I recommend that you guys do that first and then come back to this problem. And I will leave the link above there in case you guys wanna check it out. Now, once you if you apply the parallel axis theorem, you're going to have to also use the tables that are on the reference manual to grab the equations for the rectangle and the circle. The last thing I'm going to mention here is that we have the circle inside the rectangle, so don't forget to subtract them, okay? So with that information, why don't you guys give this problem a try and I will see you in a little bit. So this is the equation that we're going to use. Here we have the centroids, which we already solved in the previous video. So the next step is let's go to the reference manual and grab the equations. So if we go here, we are giving the equation for the circle. So this is the moment of inertia of the centroid or x-axis. So this is the equation we're going to use. And if we go to this page, here we have the rectangle and we're going to use this equation here, bh cubed over 12. So let's write the equations down. Now let's plug in the numbers. So we have this is going to be b, that's going to be h. So we have b is 11, h is going to be 7 cubed over 12. And then we have plus the area times d squared y. Now let's take a look at d squared y. What is dy? So the, dy is going to be the distance from the centroid of the rectangle to the centroid of the whole shape, okay? Now, what is the centroid of the whole shape about the y-axis? It's 3.5 inches because here we have symmetry about the y, right? Now, the centroid of the rectangle is also 3.5. So dy is just going to be zero, okay? Because the centroid of the whole shape and the centroid of the rectangle, they're at the same point, which is 3.5. 3.5 minus 3.5, that just gives us zero. So this term is gonna actually go to zero, okay? Now let's do minus, so we get, let's change this plus to minus. So we're gonna have minus pi times a. So remember guys, a is the radius, so make sure that you use the radius. So here we're gonna have two to the power four over four. And then we're going to do minus the area times d squared y. Now, let's take a look at, again, this dy. So dy, again, is going to be the, the distance from the centroid of the circle to the centroid of the whole shape. The centroid of the whole shape is 3.5. Now, the centroid of the circle is also 3.5, right? Because we have 1.5 plus 2, that gives us 3.5. So again, they're at the same point, so 2.5 minus 2.5 gives us zero, so this term goes to zero, okay? So this is all we're gonna have. Now, keep in mind, guys, that this is only the case when we have symmetry, okay? If we didn't have symmetry, dy would not be zero, okay? Now, if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator, you're going to get 302. Also, if you guys wanna see a video where we solve the moment of inertia about the centroidal y-axis, where dx will not be zero because we don't have symmetry about the centroid, about the x-axis, okay? So if you want to see that video, let us know in the comments below. Now, if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be C. So that's it, guys, for today's video. If you want more engineering problems or FE problems, make sure that you guys check out our playlist. 
and if you find this video helpful don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and share it with your friends that might also find it helpful don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week thank you guys for watching good luck with your studying and i will see you soon à la prochaine oh, yeah.